Their walk began at an immigration detention center in York, Pennsylvania last week. The women involved say they're inspired by the Pope's message of compassion and they're calling for dignity for migrants. 100 women walking 100 miles. Their journey brought them through Baltimore over the weekend. One step at a time, they'll reach Washington, D.C. Tuesday to see the Pope and share a message. We're really here to call on the Pope um, to pray for migrants in this country and to touch the hearts uh, of Americans and our elected officials so that we have policies of compassion and not cruelty. The group We Belong Together organized the pilgrimage, which includes immigrant women from around the U.S. Our feet hurt, uh, we have many blisters, and our bodies are sore, um, but it's really nothing compared to the suffering um, that immigrant communities are experiencing across the nation every day. Calling this an act of love and sacrifice for their families and communities. They have been exhausting, long days. Esmeralda Dominguez is a U.S. citizen um, but says her husband like Jesus is being forced to leave the country. She wants to be his voice and share their story. I was diagnosed with bone cancer and um, my husband is all I have. He's my caretaker. He's the love of my life. Mm -hmm. Not just mine, but my son's as well. So when that family is threatened, you step up, you know the reason why you're here, walking, standing for justice, for peace, for dignity. Another 50 women join the group Sunday night and more will join the walk as they get closer to D.C. Lynn Bowie, WJZ Eyewitness News. And the women stopped in Silver Spring today. They will make their way here to Catholic University tomorrow. We will watch for them and welcome them.